Hey what's up and welcome back to another video. Let's create a simple and complex collisions for our object, for our mesh. It's very easy to follow and very easy to set up. So uh, let's start. As you can see, I have this static mesh. So to go to your static mesh, locate it where it's on your content folder or you can just right click and browse to asset. So you sure that uh, your uh, static mesh is selected, not anything else. So just double click it. And now we want to change collision and make it custom, but first we need to see those collisions and to see the collisions go over here on the left side, click show and you can see simple collision. You can see how this collision looks like. You see that it's a green in color and it blocks everything. So if we go play, it will block our way through the gate. So to remove this collision on the right side under the details panel, type in collision. You can see collision presets, block all overlap, all no collision. You can remove collision completely if you click this no collision, but we are interested in this collision complexity. So we want to use complex collision as simple. We don't see complex collision right now, but if you go over here under the show, you can see and click complex collision. And you can see how this complex collision follows our mesh completely. And if you go under collision complexity, we can click use complex collision as simple and hit save. Now our mesh will use complex collision. Let's go back here, hit play. We can pass through our gate, but we cannot pass through the mesh, which is nice. But we have a problem here, go back to our mesh, that these complex collisions, if you have lots of these items, it will uh, be very, very hard on your performance. So we need to uh, figure out the better way. This is okay if you have a few items and you want to quickly create some collisions. So let's go back to collision complexity, click project default and go under the collision and click over here, remove collision. And if you remove all the collision and now we add our custom collision. So let's add a box simplified collision and you can see the box all around our asset. So we can select this box and move it just like any asset in the Unreal Engine 5. So what we want to do, we want to add collision for our boxes so we can scale it a little bit like this and move it here. If you have problems with uh, snapping, you can always go over here on the right side on the top to enable or disable the snapping objects to a scale grid and move it precisely. I will not do this super perfectly because it will take it some time. So I just want to show you how this works. Copy it by holding Alt on your keyboard and left mouse button. And let's do this same for our top, move it up, make it bigger and position it on the top of your asset like this. This is just a crude example of how to do it and click save and hit play. And if I go over here, you can see that I can pass through the gate, but I can pass through the walls. And this is it from this video. If you find this helpful, let me know in the comments below and uh, drop some likes and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.